Hi, my name is Chad Bayowski, and I've been teaching at Chengdam for more than 10 years, and I work at Chengdam Branch. Today's class is a C2 Eagle class. Each class we create a project based on the fast food industry, and today's collaborative project, we're going to be making a stop motion animation. But first we're going to start with the personal project. In the first step of the personal projects, each student will choose a job and then interview their partner about the appearance needed for that job and the job responsibilities. This class chose YouTuber, zookeeper, teacher, and baseball player. In the second step of the personal project, each partner group chose one job to present to the class. Paul wants to be a teacher because he likes teaching kids and he needs no makeup or hair. After the presentation for the personal projects, we started the collaborative project. We combined the partners into two big groups and we focused on only two jobs, baseball player and YouTuber. Now that we're in two big groups, we're ready to start the stop motion project. Being a successful YouTuber. The first step of the collaborative project is the ideate section. I give each group a handout and the handout has roles for each student. I've broken the roles into a script writer, a lead artist, a camera person, and the leader. In this section, students are working together to fill out the handout for the appearance, job tasks, and attitude that their job needs. What should your attitude to be towards your boss? I, I, didn't, I don't do that. Awesome! Wow. So how can you, create a person, how can you show that there's no boss if you're a YouTuber? With their handouts done, we're ready for the materialized section where students will create the stop motion animation. Students are going to be drawing on the board, so we're going to stack the desks on top of each other so that the camera will be stable and we can also capture some of the students' hands in the shot. To make these projects, we're going to be using two apps. The first is Stop Motion Studio to do all of the animating, and then we're going to export to KineMaster to do the dubbing. Baseball players need to wear uniform to identify teams. They wear hats to make their hair clean. After the students dubbed and finished their stop motion animations, we presented them to the class. Each group had to give the other group feedback to figure out how we could improve the stop motion process for the next time. Feedback is a really important part of the process, especially peer feedback. When students have to give feedback, they pay attention during the presentations, and when they get feedback, it helps them improve for the next project. What can we do to make it smoother for next week, or if we do this again? It's okay. Uh, which These groups work together really well and solve some problems along the way, and we're able to come up with projects that were really creative, and they had a lot of fun. 